Uh, this first paper is uh, from Intel, and uh, Dr. Achen Bamek is here. Um, he uh, has done some great work in the area of refreshing the display and, uh, and asking the question, why do we refresh the display so, so repetitively when there's not new things coming in? Good morning, everyone. So uh, first, I'd like to point out that uh, my architect was going to present the paper, and uh, he couldn't make it. So uh, I have the privilege to uh, present it in front of you. Um, uh, so as Dick mentioned, we'll talk about self-refresh technology. Um, and uh, over dinner, I was discussing with some of my colleagues what's new here, because the idea was very well known. Uh, you will see the, uh, the ideas are well known. Uh, what's new is that we have finally implemented it with uh, key partners in the industry. Um, and you know things that could be done uh, take a, a lot of effort in terms of technology standardization, component enabling, and finally uh, building real systems and bring it to the hands of uh, consumer. So today I'll present to you the latest um, status on this. Although the industry has talked about it for, for a long time, we're finally uh, at the stages where we could uh, bring it to real systems. So in terms of outline, um, you know, I'll first take a very quick look at uh, what's the display subsystem architecture of a laptop or notebook uh, computer specifically, uh, which probably uh, is very similar at a high level to all mobile devices, but there are some key differences, uh, and I'll highlight those. Um, I'll discuss power consumption trend, how things are looking, because battery life is very important, as you know. Um, I will uh, give a very quick overview of some of the power management technologies that are necessary to manage the, the display subsystem. I'll also show you our studies of usages with uh, tons of we Intel. Yeah, every year we'll study thousands of people and see how they, their beha behavior with the system. And we use that results to uh, develop technologies. I'll show you some of that. Uh, and then going into uh, panel self-refresh technology, you'll see that it requires us to re-architect how the display subsystem of the laptop works. I'll uh, discuss how it works and uh, show you the benefits and uh, finally tell you what the status is. But, you know, uh, uh, being from Intel, uh, over dinner, lunch, hallway conversations, uh, there's a lot of questions about, is the PC dead? So I thought, although it's a technical presentation, I'll show you just one slide from the business side. Um, even in our keynote uh, in, at SID, you tend to hear traditional computer devices that will stay stagnant or die, and then the new ones that are coming up. Uh, so at SID, most discussions today are about tablets, phones, and very little about laptops and notebooks. So I wanted to bring one slide from uh, Intel's uh, uh, business group to show you what is our view on it. So uh, bear with me. I'll walk through this for a minute. What I'm showing on the x-axis is the time since launch of a particular CPU from Intel. Um, and then on the y-axis is volume in millions of units of, that, uh, of systems, computers built on that CPU. What I'm showing here are four generations of Intel CPU. For those of you who are familiar with processors, you'll know that Sandy Bridge is the processor that was the mainstream uh, laptop and desktop CPU from Intel in 2011. Uh, this is code 2010. 